friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie B. L. B. Mouth of the South. I forgot that last time, and my friend India said, Did anybody else notice she forgot that? Thank you. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. If you've never been here before, it's a crazy ride. We're going to have some fun. We're going to smash that up with some luxury, and then I'm going to show you all my purses today because people are asking, Let me see um, your collection. So, anyway, starting off, quick story time for you. Um, let me think. One time, <laughs> one time I um, wanted to buy my sister. She's a hiker. She's so not like me. She's outdoorsy, and they travel all the time, and they do great, exciting things, and I never do, but she has a great, um, a great life. But anyway... For Christmas one year, um, I think she had some new hiking boots or something, and I wanted to get her some really nice socks, because you know that's important when you're walking. So, I went everywhere. You heard, I combed the whole city, which isn't a whole lot of places around here, but still, I went to all the places looking for these, you know, I think they were um, North Face or Columbia or something. They were, a, you know, a hiking sock. They were socks for hiking. So, I could not find them anywhere. So, I decided, well, you know, I've got a couple weeks before Christmas. I'll go ahead and go online and order them. You know me, I love to order. Girl, I thought that I would look at Dick's Sporting Goods online. Listen to me. This has been five or six years ago. Do not. Just put in dicks.com. Honey, I got into a vortex of things. Took me two days to get out. <laughs> no, but really, it's porn. I'm <laughs> just saying. Anyhow, let's get to it. So everyone is saying, not everyone, but a few people have said, you know, let's talk about your bags. Like, show us all your bags. So I'll show you. I've got them behind me. And uh, I do have a, a few people who say, you know, are they fake? Are they real? Well, there are a couple um, well, three now in my collection that sits back here. Um, it's like the elephant in the room. People ask, and I, you know, I, I don't care to tell you. Uh, the first one, guys, you guys are going to be like, oh, what is this bag? Which I bought. Can you guys see it? The Speedy Cerises or Cherry Miracami Cherries, which I love so much, but this is a dupe. It's a super fake. It was back when they first started really super faking stuff, right after they came out with this bag. I could not, I've told you before, I could not swing over a thousand bucks or whatever it was at the time, 800, however much it was. I, there was no way. So I ended up going on eBay and found this for like 250 And I knew full well, I mean, maybe I knew about 90%, about 10% of me was like, it looks really good. It could be real, but it's, you know. And I ended up, I never really carried it myself. It's got all this patina. I let a friend of mine who loved the bag too, um, I let my best friend at the time carry it for ever. She she really carried it a long time. So, um, and that was fine. I just, you know, it, it was a good one. But someone told me how to figure out, you know, you got a fake and here's why. But 250 I paid for it when these things were really big. So, yeah, and it was brand new at the time. It came with all the little paperwork and everything. That was my first, and that was eBay. So, I, I didn't really know. Um, I'm sure it was coming from China, but, you know, I, I don't know. But that is, this is a fake. This is why I never talk about this bag. It's why I never take the bag out. It's just, it is a dupe. So, it's part of my collection. I never carry it. Never talk about it. It's there, though. It's there. All right. So, the other fake in here is this Pachette Matisse. So, remember I told you last year that I, um, can you guys see it? I told you guys last year that I bought this one and I bought the reverse at the same time, but they were both real, and I could not afford to have both of them, so I sent the one that looked like this, the monogram one, back. Um, cut to a few months ago, I was online in the middle of the night doing my thing, as y'all know I do, and I was looking for the Infrarouge, and a dupe of the Infrarouge came up, and I was like, gosh, they want like 2,500 bucks for that bag, and they wanted like 150, so it was a, it was a Chinese seller, and I was like, yeah, send me that. Well, they didn't have the Infrarouge, but they had it on their little site, 
So the guy said, well, I'm going to send you the mono instead. And I was like, well, well, I don't really want the mono. And long story short, you know, one of my daughters can carry this bag. But I don't, I, sometimes I put it up there because it's, you know, it's still, it's good. It's a good fake. Um, and it's, it's one of those from when they first started coming out with them, they were fake. It doesn't have like a date code or anything in it. But, you know, they did pretty well in this bag. The leather's pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is the other fake in my collection. I made a video on this, unboxing this, and it was so horrible. The video was so terrible. Uh, I think we did it after I had taken my sleep meds, and I was like, <laughs> so, girl, she, yeah. So those are the two. Let's get those out of the way. And y'all already know that I have the, um, the fake that I full oil did about unboxing, and I bought that one on purpose for real. So let's get into my actual bags. Um, the first thing is, and I bought this at like TJ, but can you see it? It's a Betsy Johnson. And I don't know, maybe I, it was less than a hundred bucks, but I loved it. But I bought this years ago and I thought, um, I thought it looked kind of Chanel-esque, like a big Chanel tote bag. So I just thought it was cute with the bow detail and everything, but that's this is one I'll probably never get rid of just because, you know, it's not worth anything and I really like it and, and it carries a lot of stuff. Mm. Uh, this one, I think you guys have seen it. It is the um, uh, Speedy 30 in the Damier Aben, Aben. And remember, this was mine, and then my daughter wanted to carry it, so I traded her out of this bag. This is hers. This is her little, you know, twilly and stuff, and, and it's all hers. So, but it's still, technically, if I wanted to carry it, I could. But yeah, I bought that one. <laughs> this one also um, is Pochette Accessoire, and in the Damier, and it is um, hers, too. But we share bags quite a bit, and, um, you know, this is in our collection, I'll say. But, you know, one that we have. And this one I bought last year um, in spring because I thought this was the perfect spring bag. And I really didn't have a bag like this in the Azure. Um, turns out I'm probably never going to buy another one just because I love the print. But, gosh, this Pochetta. It kills me. It makes me so nervous. Oh, God. And a big girl with a nervous problem. I could have a heart attack. I can't. Uh-uh. I'll probably carry it again, but I'm scared. That's what I'm telling. Hold me. Le Chanel. I'm probably going to get rid of her. Probably. I don't know. Um, I don't grab for her much. I think she's beautiful. I'm not a Chanel gal, turns out. I mean, I guess if you if somebody wanted to give me a boy bag or a big flap or something, you know, medium flap, I'd take it, but um, I don't have the money for these kind of bags, and so this is my first and probably only dalliance into the Chanel bags. Beautiful. I just don't reach for her a lot, but yeah. She's, as you guys can see, these are all bags that you can see every day in my little thing. This one, as you know, I am in love with. I love, love, I wanted to call her uh, Pochette Matisse, but <laughs> she is the Cassie, the Coach Cassie in the color block of red and pink and just nothing bad to say about this. Nothing. Another birthday bag is this, and I'm going to tell y'all the story behind this. My husband and I, we go to Sam's. I think I tell y'all that. We are creatures of habit. We go to the Sam. We went today. It's Sunday, so we, we go to Sam's every Sunday. And we do our um, shopping, we'll go to Aldi, we'll go to the grocery store. So we do all that on Sunday. This bag, I'm telling you, was at Sam's Club, this very bag. You saw this, I don't know why Sam's had this in there. They used to carry bags and stuff and you know, they had like Michael Kors, some Tory Burch every now and then. And then this one came on and, and they had this for months and I wanted it in the worst way. I think it was $699. Um, but my husband was like, no, nah, you don't need that bag. So fine. Someone bought it one day and I was all like heartbroken. We went to Orlando. We went to Disney. 
went to the Burberry store down there. They actually had this. It was like outlet shopping that has like Burberry Prada, all the really nice Gucci. Um, but we went in there and they actually had this actual bag too. Last one. Guess what? He was like, no, we're on vacation. You know, no, you don't need that. I was like, okay. Got back, and the week after I got back, I was like, you know how a bag does? It gets in your mind, man. It infiltrates you. You like, you know, you can't see anything but that. And so for my birthday, I found it on like Joma Shop. If you guys ever go on there, and I bought it, and that was my birthday gift. And he was like, what? But yeah, should have bought it the first two times we saw it. But anyway, okay. So this one, this is something I found at a flea market, a little change purse that was in the Burberry print. I thought it was so cute. So I hung it on there, but this was my first Burberry bag. Um, it was one of my first luxury bags back in early 2000s. We had gone to Vegas. I saw this bag and again, my husband was like, get up in that bag. So you know me, I ain't buying nothing in front of him. You know me, I sneak. So I sent my, my cousin lives in Vegas and these were at the uh, forum shops at Caesars. Yeah, I've done some damage in there, but um, I sent her back. <laughs> this one was like one of my very first. I loved it. But the bad thing about this bag is, oh, she's not butter. She's tough. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's the one drawback to this Burberry bag. I love it. I think it's beautiful. But this zipper, and I've done everything I can think of. Probably at the time, I should have sent it back. But, you know, 20 years later, what are you going to do? But I love this bag. and um, I love the bags with the red. Red is my thing. I don't know why. I, I love me some red. Guys, we're back. So, this was... I've had this one for 20, well, it's made in 2001, Papillon, I think they call that, the butterfly bag, because of this, you know, um, but I bought this when my oldest daughter, I didn't know I was going to have another daughter, but when I just had two kids, and I, uh, I bought this because it had a daughter bag to it, like, I thought that was the coolest thing, like, you know, mommy can have one and she can have one. And I thought that would be the cutest thing. And she did, I think, carry it at Easter or something a couple times. Um, my cat ended up chewing this strap. I thought I was going to die. I came home one day and my cat was literally gnawing on this leather. But yeah, um, yeah, she, I just thought that was the cutest thing. Like, I, I just died for this bag because I thought, oh, we can wear it together. Oh, and we did a few times, so. I don't know. I'll never get rid of this. I just, I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, this one, I still have not taken off the film. I don't reach for this as much as, as I used to. I did carry it five or six times. I, oh gosh, she still smells new. I love her. So much. I did not think I would like it, but when they both came, when I had the real one that I sent back, I just, I was like, oh my God, I have to, I have to keep the reverse. I don't know what drew me to that because I'm a monogram gal and I probably will not, never buy reverse in anything else, but in this bag, for some reason, I just love it. I love the top. I don't have to worry about Bichetta. It's all good. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so this is a Ralph Lauren bag that I have had. All my bags are old that I haven't sold, you know what I mean? Most of my bags um, I've had for a while, but see how the leather, I, I put some conditioner on this one last week because it had been just sitting in my closet. But when I bought this bag, this isn't actually the front of the bag. Apparently this is the back because this says it has the Lauren on it, but I always carry it like this because I thought it was very like Hermes or something looking with the belt and I just thought it was really cute. It's the softest leather and now it's kind of, if you can see, it's got that little wrinkly look to it, but I've always loved this bag. It carries, it's exactly enough. It's just enough and it's ivory and oh, I love her. So this one is, remember we, this was my daughter's bag that we had covered up two different times. First it had a Tennessee on it, the state of Tennessee. And then I sent it to my gal down in Georgia and she did the tea on there, the power tea. And what I love about this is I had found a, a used on eBay. I found a, a tag, a luggage tag, and it has the power tea on it too. So 
this bag, you know, I like it and everything. Um, it is the small, never full, very good. I mean, it, it looks brand new. Somebody did not carry this at all. They babied it. It looks brand new inside. Um, I'm on the fence. I don't know. I like it, but I don't grab for it. And I'm a Tennessee fan, but I'm more of an Ohio State Buckeye. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. I might, I'm thinking about this year. I'm really going to think about maybe selling her. So, okay. So this one I have not, I've carried this actually even with somebody else's initials. I don't care. So I'm going to do a little something with this one. I just love this one. Remember I unboxed this before Christmas and it was, um, something I bought from Fashion File. But yeah, that's in the old collection. Neverfull. I found I love a Neverfull, but reaching for the Neverfull, I don't. I think maybe part of it is, you know, putting it under your arm. I can still do that, but she's tight. Long story short, my Neverfull that I'm going to have covered up. I bought pre-loved. Uh, another pochette accessoire. Um, it is the special limited edition. You're call me Cherries or Cerises or Cerise. However you want to say it, I bought that. And then, of course, I could not live without this. And these are actual authentic. So, yeah, unlike my little Speedy down there, who's who's a sad knockoff. But, yeah, this one's, um, remember, I unboxed her. There's a, We'll try to post the video lurking above somewhere of me unboxing um, these or whatever. Love still. I do carry this. Um, I wish it held more. People did say that to me, like, you're, you're going to be upset of all the stuff. It, it doesn't hold. It's too little. And I was like, yes, remember? She's all the things I'm not. Small is the very first thing of it. I still love her. Y'all know how I love tinier things. Tinier things, sorry. <laughs> Almost all things. I like tiny. Okay. So this bag, there's kind of a story behind this. My friend painted this for me, this little Speedy 25. I bought this um, from a Japanese seller on eBay. Uh, the handles were, I got a really good deal on this because the handles were, she was something else. So I thought, I'm going to clean it. I cleaned it while it was still wet. I conditioned it. Mm -mm, don't ever do that because that ruins it and makes it real dark. So ends up I had to end up painting the handles and the trim so I did I went ahead and you know trimmed it out in red what else because that's my favorite so um my friend I gave it to her because she was going to paint this on there for I knew she was and then she gave it to me on my birthday which was really sweet and she did a great job a lot of people asked me about this bag and it was customed by my best friend who, who's an actual artist too and so I put this little red tag on there. I think it looks cute. Um, I haven't carried this yet but I will if we ever go back to Disney. If I'd stop buying purses we could go back to Disney. My kids are over here like side eye. So here we go. Um, this one is very significant. I won't probably ever get rid of this even though I don't carry her anymore. This is the Cava Piano, um, which again came from the Louis Vuitton store. This one um, in Vegas at the um, forum shops there at Caesars. So I bought this in 2004. Okay. Um, I bought a lot back. I mean, it seems like 2000 to 2005 was like, I gotta have all the bags. All right, so anyway, I bought this one, and this was my first brand new ever Louis Vuitton bag from a store, from a boutique, where I actually went in. But how it happened was, and my husband was with me, he co-signed everything. <laughs> Girl, how it happened was, we were gambling, and we were playing slots, because we don't know how to play nothing else. So... I had left and gone off and was doing like nickel slots or something as back when, you know, they actually did money. Uh, but yeah, I was over playing something and having some drinks and my husband was off on the dollar machines. So anyway, I hear the thing go off and I'm like, oh my God, somebody won. And it was him. I look over and some really hot, you heard, I mean, she was fine because 
my husband is fine and he always has been like he's good looking i traded up on that i don't even know how this happened but you know you ever see a really really hot guy and then a, hmm, that's us <laughs> so um yeah, he was actually over there winning, and all this money was dropping, and the thing was going off. He'd won a jackpot, and there was this chick over there, like, trying to get him to leave with her. Like, honest to Pete, she was trying to get him to go, I guess, to her room. Turns out, I think she was a prostitute. <laughs> Here I am trying to give it to him for free. What? Anyhow, yes, girl. Uh, she was trying to get him to pay, and he was like, uh, my wife's right there, and I walked up and was like, can I help you, a biatch? <laughs> she was like, no, no, bye, bye. Anyway, she was good looking, though, but, uh, anyway, we left, we got our money, and instead of putting it back in the machines, he said, let's go buy you one of those Louis Vuitton bags, and I was like, yes, let's do, so this is what came from that trip, it's always a good story, and I carried the hell up out of her like I carried her and that was back when I don't know I was a soccer mom then um, now I'm just an old lady but but that was back when I carried it everywhere like if I got out to go into see the honey she can let me I, I'm gonna take my bag we wrestled this from the arms of a prostitute not actually but anyway I wrestled my man from the arms of a prostitute <gasps> good times no one's ever propositioned me in Vegas that makes me feel like hell. The other day on Valentine's Day, my husband got, um, I called him, I texted him. All these people were getting roses and flowers and all this good stuff. And I said, a bunch of ladies around me got flowers, honey, and they are gorgeous. And he texted back, well, that's probably why they got the flowers and you didn't. That's not true. But I did hear that the other day and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I was meaning the flowers are gorgeous. But anyway, go to the piano with a long rant. So, um, I am a big fool about epi leather. I love epi leather. I would love to have a new epi leather bag. Um, probably I will get one in the next year or so. I don't know. But I have some that are vintage. This is in the PM size uh, Alma bag in the, I think, I want to call it, is it Cerulean? I, I can't, you know I don't know things. Um, I don't know words. Okay, this one I am going to do a clean with me because I bought this last year on eBay from a Japanese seller. The thing is, they folded like the, they do in the boutique. They fold. You're not supposed to fold the epi leather ones. They're not meant to be. You stuff them and send them like this. But they had folded it like you would a canvas bag. So it has creases. It has stains. It's... And we're going to try to clean this up and get it looking nice, but um, I'm going to actually carry this one day, someday. But I have the exact same bag. That's a 25, and I have it in, this is from 1980, it's 85 or 86, I can't remember. But um, this one came in, and I got her from Tradesy last year, and man, she came in, and she was beat all to heck. I mean, she was beat up. She had scratches. She was... You know, all the color was gone off of her. There were white places. And I went ahead and, like, resealed her, re-dyed and resealed her. And she came out really well. I just, I can't, I'm not good at this. The Brasso thing on the, I need to figure that out. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is the oldest bag that I have. And I love it. Although, I would sell it out her. I'm going to try, maybe. I don't know. But I resealed her. And she came out really good, man. I love it. Girl, y'all already know about her. I have the Chinese fake one over here, if y'all could see it, but I'm not even going to show that to, to y'all. If you want to see it, we'll, we'll post. Uh, there's a whole video on, of me unboxing that one before I actually got this one at Christmas. So, I can't even, y'all know what she is. She's the Nicholas Cashier. Uh, Bandolier Speedy in the 30 in the black and white Damier. I am crazy about her. God, I can't even say enough good things about this bag, but I, I love it and I always will. Okay, so I told y'all I had that old 1985 Speedy. Girl, when y'all see this, y'all gonna die. 
She used to be known as a pochette accessoire in the Damier Azur. Uh, this has even been, we put this in the washer even, like, girl, look. <laughs> that is all, I'm not going to get rid of her though. I sure won't. We'll use it as a catch-all in her bag. We don't even care. We do not care. We will carry her. Who cares? But she's seen better today. Look at almost... All of that has worn off. She's as old as me. She's not. She's seen some things. Oh, so, okay. So, um, this is not a video about my backpacks. That's going to be ha have to be another video because I do have a ton of backpacks. And y'all know I just got that new one in the Macassar or Macassar. Um, the Josh backpack. I'm currently carrying that bag. I love it. But I will include that in another video next week. And I also have some dupes coming up. Amazon dupes. But um, I'm sure I have more bags in this. But these are just the ones that um, were behind me and that I could get to. And um, I'm going to give you an in memoriam on some bags. But the last bag in my collection is this. This is the Neverfull MM in the Murakami Hands. Um, to, yeah, this, she is, I need to stuff her a little better, but, um, I keep her put up. I don't display her or anything. And I actually, I carried her a bit, quite a bit when I first got her. Uh, remember this bag? I drained my whole bank account in 2009 or 10 for this bag. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, my husband was not happy. This is why we don't tell him nothing. But yeah, that is probably the most priceless bag as far, well, priceless to me. I mean, everything has a price, right? But this is the most expensive bag that I'll ever have. You know, I won't have any showstoppers other than that. But yeah, that's my, that's my collection now, girl. I'm going to give you an uh, in memoriam like they do on the Oscars. And I'm just going to slide by and show you all the bags that we have gotten rid of this year. Are you ready? So, so here we go. To all the bags I've loved before. You traveled in and out my door. So now we've come to the end of the road. Still I can't let it go. <laughs> Y'all like my music? Um you got oh wait that's my dog till it's gone so there you go there's an in memoriam of all the bags i've sold in the last year thanks for joining me today this video is super long and um i hope you guys had a great valentine's and i hope you guys have a good week coming up and we'll do part two of this video which is all of my backpacks next week and hey until then if y'all see my husband don't tell him nothing bye